The proprietress of Springfield High School, Mrs. Gladys Igbinehi, in her speech delivered by the principal of the school, Mr. Omoruyi Osarese Steve, stressed on the importance of culture in our society and advised parents to teach their children the cultural heritage of our land, while other heads of departments also threw their weights behind it. Now, the reason why we are celebrating or uh, doing this event today is to mark a very, very important aspect of our lives. Because due to the infiltration of the Western culture, like I also said before, a lot of us seem to have forgotten our roots, or rather where we are coming from. So this event is marked not only to show awareness or let us know what it entails or what our various ethnic cultures entails but for us also to learn one thing or the other we may have forgotten so it's a thing about culture and tradition we are here to showcase our culture to blow it up to show it to the world to show how proud we are to be nigerians and to come from different tribes i'm very excited we eventually did this um event displaying our rich cultural heritage. It's very challenging to a very challenging plan an event in this uh, economic situation but at least with what we put together despite the challenges we were able to deliver. The cultural day ceremony which witnessed a great turnout by parents of the pupils kick started with a colorful procession along the busy Uselu SNT Barak Road showcasing the major four cultures representing the four geopolitical zones of the country, namely the Igbos from the east, the Oduduwas from the west, the Hausa Fulanese representing the north and the Benins with the Niger Delta representing the south-south. As the latter took the event back to the school compound, where they had so much to showcase. History of our great culture was brought to us in display by the students via various activities like folk tales, taste by moonlight, monarch of kingdom dressings, traditional meals, etc. Parents who were present promised to drive the message home to their kids while the participating children felt so happy. They should, they should know more about their culture. Let it not be that they just, they are lost. They should know more about their culture, go so in depth to know what their culture entails. My take home for the children is, uh, the children should be law abiding in anything they do and uh, because it's going to speak for them tomorrow. Because they say charity begins at home. My message to the is that this is the way of our culture as in Nigeria. We have different cultures, and these are cultures they have to uh, uh, showcase today. We are so grateful, and I know these children have learned from our different cultures today. The message I am taking from my place of God is for us to teach our children our local dialects. Our culture. Let them know how to speak our language, not just speaking English alone. Um, I feel happy. The event was colorful, and I thank the teachers for the way they handled the event to make sure that all groups perform their activities well. And God bless all the teachers and school. I'm really happy about it. The program aimed towards reawakening our consciousness about our good moral values and integrity with the team preserving our rich cultural heritage. The Niger Deltans represented the South South came out with the overall first position while the Yorubas and the Ibus had second and third positions respectively. I am Joy reporting for G Plus Media Online TV Benin.